Good evening. My name is Dr. Dominique Hill, and I'm the Director of Wellness here at Baylor. However, tonight, I have the privilege and honor to serve as your host for this year 2021 Excellence in Student Leadership Awards. Tonight, you're gonna to hear from a variety of departments who will share student leaders who have made an indelible imprint on the campus community this year. Many students were nominated for these awards. However, everyone could not be selected. We do appreciate and applaud everyone who was nominated and thank you for your service. And to kick it off tonight with our first presentation of awards, we'd like to turn it over now to the Department of Student Activities Campus Programs. Would you please applaud and make them feel welcome? Good evening. My name is Jordy Dickey and I serve as the Associate Director of Student Union. Campus Programs is a major branch of the Department of Student Activities and home to Baylor's three student-led programming boards. Each one has a slightly different focus, but they all serve the same mission, plan the events that define the Baylor experience. These are the groups behind the scenes that create many of Baylor's major events, such as Sundown Sessions, All University Sing, and Christmas on Fifth Street. Decades from now, when the current student body looks back on its time at Baylor, they will likely recall shared experiences with people they care about. The student leaders serving in campus programs are the stewards of these moments, experiences where cherished memories are born. The vast majority of people will never understand the level of dedication these students commit to their work. From initial concept design to emptying the final trash bin well after everyone has gone home, these leaders work tirelessly to ensure Baylor continues to offer experiences that foster connection. Tonight, we will recognize a few of our leaders, but we owe a debt of gratitude to them all. Congratulations, award winners, and thank you, Campus Programs, for your continued dedication to our shared mission. It is now my honor to introduce Campus Living and Learning. We're the Residence Hall Association, and we're going to be explaining some of our awards to you today. So first, we have the HLT Member of the Year Award, and this goes to somebody who demonstrates a heart to serve in the residential community. This is a student who has exceeded expectations in their position while serving on the Hall leadership team and proven to put hours of effort into building meaningful relationship with their peers and professional staff within the Residence Hall. Next, we will be speaking about the RHA General Assembly Member of the Year. This is a student who has demonstrated their engagement in RHA meetings and events while also displaying above and beyond efforts to contribute to Hall initiatives, programs, and traditions. Last but not least, we present the RHA Executive Board Member of the Year. This is a student representative who has put in countless hours to enrich the on-campus experience and work tirelessly to make a better Baylor. And the winners are... And the next student organization presenting awards is the student government. Hello everyone. My name is Sutton Hauser and I had the unique pleasure this past year to serve as student body president. And my name is Gracie Kelleher and I have had the pleasure of serving as this year's external vice president and next year's student body president. As Baylor University seeks to educate men and women for worldwide leadership and service, students have been shaped and molded by the culture and rigor of transformational education, both in and out of the classroom. Similarly, Dr. A. A. Hayden pursued this commitment to excellence in student leadership with his over 21 years of service as the Dean of Students and Vice President for Student Affairs. Because of his dedication to the university, this endowment is dedicated in his honor. 
Baylor University student government has the honor of awarding this endowment to upperclassmen who display servant-heartedness, growing leadership, and personal development during their time here at Baylor. This award recognizes outstanding student leaders in the areas of campus involvement, community service, and leadership ability. It is with great joy that we get to present the 2020-2021 Excellence in Student Involvement Awards. This award is our way to say thank you to these students for their outstanding contributions to student life. Each recipient will be awarded a watch with the seal of our university on its face, so they may continue to honor God and Baylor in the community they impact and every person they serve. Congratulations to all. We hope that this award will help in encouraging you to grow in your service and leadership to our university. Our next awards will be presented by the Department of Multicultural Affairs. Baylor is home to students from all 50 states and 89 different countries. Multicultural Affairs helps students to celebrate and embrace the cultures of every student. Hello everyone, my name is Geronda Robinson and I am the Associate Director of the Department of Multicultural Affairs. I'm so excited to be here with you today. The Department of Multicultural Affairs assists students on their journey to self-awareness. We also assist them on learning about the many cultures represented here on campus, as well as an opportunity to explore dialogue across differences. The mission of the Department of Multicultural Affairs is to enrich the development, the holistic development of students by encouraging them to celebrate their personal heritage and embrace the culture of others. Now this year's nominees and our recipients have no doubt exemplified the mission of the Department of Multicultural Affairs. And with that said, I am so honored to now present our recipients. Congratulations to all our winners and our nominees. We are so proud of you. Now there's much work to be done, but we know with you around, the future looks bright. Thank you. Congratulations to all the award recipients. At this time, it is my esteemed honor and privilege to introduce to you my personal Shiro. She's groundbreaking, history making, illuminating force to be reckoned with. She is the 15th president of our illustrious institution. Please help me in welcoming our president, Dr. Linda Livingstone. Congratulations to our Excellence in Student Leadership Award recipients. I'm so proud of you and what you helped us accomplish on our campus this year. I was reflecting back on this ceremony last spring when we were all sheltering in place in our homes remotely because we couldn't be on campus together. And I have to say that our ability to come back and be on campus together to expand what we did with students, give each other far more opportunities to engage and be together face to face, whether in the classroom or in student activities, is in large part because of the leadership that you helped to provide on our campus. The way you collaborated with faculty, staff, and administration to help us implement COVID protocols, to do the things we had to do to be safely together, and then to be able to have activities together where we could engage and spend time with one another. So thank you for your leadership, 
Thank you for collaborating with us in such effective ways this year. We appreciate all you've done, uh, all you'll continue to do for Baylor and wish you all the best uh, in the future. Thank you so much, Dr. Livingstone. At this time, the next department to present awards is the Academy for Leadership Development. Let's please welcome them as they announce their winners. Hello, I'm so happy to be here with you all this evening to celebrate the work of all of our student leaders, not just the recipients of tonight's awards. We had so many amazing nominees that selecting just a few to highlight was not an easy task. The Academy for Leadership Development prepares Baylor students to make a difference in a diverse and interconnected global society, and Baylor is better because of it. Embedded in the mission of Baylor University is a commitment to educate men and women for worldwide leadership and service. And the Academy serves as home to a variety of programs that provide all students with the opportunity to develop leadership skills. Here at ALD, we want students to understand that leadership is not just about titles or positions or awards, but rather that leadership is the ability to affect positive change in one's environment, however large or small. We believe that every student should engage in situations that allow them to recognize their calling and develop into the person that God wants them to be. The Academy strives to incorporate and highlight four pillars of leadership into all of our programs and services. Social responsibility, social identity, integrity, and active engagement. This evening, we celebrate the students who personified these four pillars of leadership in exemplary ways, and we're so proud and honored to have worked with them. The work we've accomplished this year could not have been achieved without all of our amazing student leaders and their contributions, and we so appreciate the commitment that each of them has shown to developing themselves and others. Please give a loud thank you to all of our student leaders and congratulations to all of our nominees. A big thanks to everyone that applied and congratulations to all the nominees and winners. It's my pleasure to introduce representatives from the Office of Community Engagement and Service. Good evening. Thank you for joining us as we continue to celebrate the work of our students. My name is Micah Mitchell. Uh, in keeping with Baylor's Christian mission to educate young men and women for worldwide leadership and service, our office seeks to connect faculty, staff, and students with the surrounding community through informed engagement, civic obligation, and impactful service in order to promote positive social change. You may be familiar with some of our programming like Baylor Buddies, Santa's Workshop, MLK Day of Service, Step In Out Day of Service, Campus Kitchen, and many more. Student leaders help us to plan each of these events and volunteers perform thousands of hours of service each year through our programs. The Office of Community Engagement and Service is pleased to recognize outstanding student and group efforts in the areas of service and social justice through a number of awards. These awards provide special recognition for individual group contributions of time, effort, and passion towards serving in and engaging with the surrounding community. A huge thank you to everyone that applied for the awards and congratulations to all the winners. I'm excited to introduce the next presenter from the Student Foundation. Thank you for joining us tonight. My name is Geneva Moore and I'm one of the co-presidents of Student Foundation. My co-president Jeremy Danzel and I have had the honor of serving Baylor University Student Foundation for the 2020-2021 academic year. 
Student Foundation is a service organization dedicated to connecting Baylor's past, present, and future through student recruitment, raising scholarship funds, and hosting integral campus events such as All University Thanksgiving Dinner and the Baylorathon. This past year, through All University Thanksgiving Dinner, we were able to serve over 6,000 meals to Baylor students. In addition to that, we were able to host the Sikkim 6K in replacement of the Baylorathon during the COVID-19 season. Student Foundation has now been serving Baylor University for over 50 years. This year, Student Foundation was able to award 105 scholarships, exceeding $300,000 total, including the Bill and Nancy Harlan's Endowed Student Foundation Scholarship, which is awarded to an outstanding junior member each year. Mr. Bill Harlan was the founding director of Student Foundation, and we would not be where we are today without his vision for the organization. Mr. Harlan, unfortunately, is no longer with us, but we are blessed by the continued support and friendship of Mrs. Nancy Harlan. The Bill and Nancy Endowed Student Foundation Scholarship is annually chosen by the steering committee to a junior member who most embodies Student Foundation's mission of service and generosity, as well as someone who is uniquely added to our success this year. Thank you for your passion and dedication to Student Foundation this year. And now I'd warmly like to introduce our friends in Baylor Wellness. Thank you to our friends at Student Foundation. My name is Lily Ettinger and I serve as one of the Assistant Directors of Wellness. The Department of Wellness cultivates a culture of wellness on campus through health education programs and support services that impact students, faculty, staff, and the local community. Over the past year, we've created more fitness videos, proved you can work out in a mask, and held recovery celebrations. We held a virtual 5K and trained over 100 people with the opioid overdose reversal drug naloxone. This year, the Department of Wellness has two areas to present awards. The first is in the bark for our Student Leader of the Year Award. Congratulations to our winner, and let me introduce my partner, Assistant Director for Wellness for FitWell, Van Davis. With COVID-19, it is so important that we keep our Baylor community active, healthy, and well through our FitWell for All F45 personal training and nutrition advisement programs. We could not be successful without the assistance of these outstanding FitWell student leaders and this year's award recipients. Congratulations to all of our wellness student leaders. Thank you all for your passion for wellness and love and dedication for all of the people we serve. We are so proud and thankful for each and every one of you. Now to present the next set of awards, please welcome student involvement in student activities. Good evening, thanks for being with us tonight. We are so excited that we could gather together to celebrate the accomplishments of our student organizations. A part of our daily work means we get to walk alongside you as you navigate leadership development and chartering, um, and it has been a privilege to have gotten to do that with you this year. It's been a challenging year to say the least, um, but you guys have managed to continue to motivate your members and continue to make an impressive impact on our campus. Tonight is for you, we're celebrating you, you deserve it, congratulations.
Congratulations to all the award recipients. This year we have a special award called the Above and Beyond Award. This award is given in recognition of those who have gone above and beyond their duties to aid Baylor in fulfilling its mission. In a time of uncertainty, these individuals took on extra work and responsibilities to contribute not only to their departments, but to other areas as well with no hesitation. We thrive through these difficult times because of them and can honestly say that our journey would have been an extremely arduous one without these individuals. It is with great honor that we award these champions with the Above and Beyond Award. Congratulations to all the Above and Beyond Award recipients. At this time, I have the privilege of introducing to you my personal mentor, someone who is a leader among leaders. He is a game changer on this campus. Would you please help me in welcoming, next up, the Vice President for Student Life, Dr. Kevin Jackson. Good evening, Baylor Bears. This is Kevin Jackson. I'm the Vice President for Student Life, and it's my pleasure to be with you this evening. I'd like to begin my remarks by saying a special thank you to our Student Body President, Sutton Hauser, our Executive Vice President, Gracie Callaher, and our Internal Vice President, Matt Cole. They did a great job this year as a leadership team in student government. And I'd also like to say congratulations to Gracie for being elected our student body president for next year. To our award recipients, I know I join others in congratulating you for a job well done. It was a most challenging year this year, and it took extraordinary effort on your part to lead throughout the year and lead you did by the very nature of you being here this evening to be recognized, you have distinguished yourselves among your peers through what you achieved in your leadership roles. You know, here at Baylor, our mission is to educate men and women for worldwide leadership and service by integrating academic excellence with our Christian commitment and within a caring community. We know that it's one thing to study leadership, and that's important, but it's another thing to do leadership. And that's why for us here at Baylor, our student organizations are so important. Each student group serves as a learning laboratory for leadership. And I've been in this business over 30 years, and I tell you, I'm inspired by what I see our student organizations doing on this campus and in the community. And the reason that our student groups are so effective is because of individuals like yourself who take on a mantle of leadership and work within groups to achieve together that which would be impractical, if not impossible to achieve individually. And here's the thing, in doing so, this university and our surrounding communities are made better. And therein, I think, lies the key to our university. Baylor Bears make a difference. And you have certainly made a difference this year. In closing, as I look back over the year, I have many fond memories of seeing how you have impacted this university and the surrounding community. And as we move forward, for those returning students, look forward to working with you next year. And for our graduating students, and as you go into this new season of life, I want to encourage you to continue to fling your green and gold afar. Baylor Bears, may God bless you, and may he continue to bless Baylor University. Thank you so much, Dr. Jackson, for those words of wisdom. 
And as we come to a close this evening, I want to encourage all the student recipients of these awards to remember that you are a leader, whether you're here at Baylor or in your communities. So make sure that when you go out beyond these borders, that you continue to fling your green and gold afar. We want you to be successful no matter where you are in life. My name is Dr. Dominique Hill. It has been a privilege and honor to serve as your host this evening. And I would like to end with a hey, sick'em bears. <laughs>